I did a very selfish thing last night. I threw out a tweet that said I wouldn't I wouldn't post opinions about Twitch or streaming on Twitter anymore. And I, it set a lot of people off in the way that they were concerned uh, that I had gotten shat on or something. And I am here to clear the record that no. Um, I think this was a long time coming in that I need to reset. I need to take things off my plate. And if you've been watching the series for a long time, you know that I have been going through this transition of not only becoming, going from, you know, a career change, but also be, you know, going, just, just changing from having to deal with like all of what I do being attributed to what I'm trying to build me and my brand you know, Avalon star or just Brian Veloso in general. And I felt like one Twitter has changed for me. Uh, Twitter, I talked about this with a couple of friends that Twitter used to be this medium where like discourse was easily, easily made and easily done. And now a uh, good friend of mine, Petra, when, when replying to my tweet said, you know, the mixture of, professional and personal and Twitter's always been personal for me always and then you know I became the product and it was no longer personal it would it was that mix and I never wanted it that way um I as I've gotten more confident with myself over the past couple of years I've been more and more likely you know I've become this this ranting voice on Twitter and it is not what I want to be Contrary to what everybody seems to love about my passion and, you know, my rants and stuff when it comes to Twitter, it's just not the place for it. It's not the subject matter. It's not the medium that I want. It's not the, it's not the me that I want to show you. And it's something I've been struggling with because I don't, I want to be able to come out to be able to talk about Twitch and streaming with as much authority and with as much confidence as I did with web design and development. But I feel I need to take a step back. You know, there are a lot, as I said in my tweet, there are a lot of voices out there that are more educated than mine. And a lot of people there out there are showing support to, you know, what I did. But at the same time, those are people that already know what they want to hear. You know, we're not it's very hard to change opinion or to even educate. If anything, this is about self-preservation. It's about me not looking at Twitter, me not going on the Twitter app right now, you know, and um, looking at a tweet and feeling like something's wrong on the internet. John Green did an amazing video on disconnecting from Twitter, which I'll, you know, I'll link in the video. And, he goes on to say about, you know, setting your priorities and not and not having to like report a fire or try to put out a fire everyone, you know, even if it, it hasn't been started by anybody you know. Um just to let things play out. And I feel like, you know, I've been so reactive. And even if I, you know, the thousands of tweets that would never happen because I would just look at it, get heated, tweet, delete, and then go back to normal. That's the stuff you don't see. You see the things that are well-formed or at least kind of well-formed and possibly, you know, not knee-jerk, but more than half of them probably knee-jerk reactions to things. And the stress I've incurred and the stress that a lot of people incur by having to hold this discourse on Twitter is not healthy. It's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for a lot of the people who do it. I understand why a lot of people don't. And I need to now experience it, what experience what it's like to not do that. It doesn't mean I'm not going to say these things at all. I feel like I'm a lot better these days. Whereas like in 2007, I could blog my way out of anything. In 2017, I feel like this is my medium. My Twitch channel is my medium. Out with it. Maybe even Facebook is better, better medium than Twitter. Where 
where we're not where it's easier to speak in a group than in a cone. You know, the larger audience you have, the more lecture like it is. And like, you know, it doesn't matter if somebody is just completely wrong or unsourced. You know, it, it, if they're bigger, if they have a bigger audience, then that audience will, you know, will will trust the, the person that they're they're looking at, regardless of whether or not they're actually right or have any, you know, any bearing to that subject. I want to get there someday. I'd like to be able to use Twitter again as a medium to be able to talk about my craft, just like I did for the past eight or so years of doing that. But I got too used to it. Too, I got too used to it. I can't just take my experience being a web designer and um, automatically change the name to Twitch streamer, broadcaster, content creator, and expect to get the same result. I need to start from the beginning again. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it differently, and I'm going to do it in a way that doesn't stress me the fuck out. <laughs> and hopefully, when we make this cycle again, I'll be better for it. And that, you know, I have faith in, in you know, the discourse on Twitter that, you know, be better for it. They'll be better for it. Um, but until then, I think this is this is definitely self-preservation. This is definitely me looking out for myself and making sure that I don't burn out because of a hundred forty characters. <laughs>